normally when you're doing a function, you would use some kind of a cell range like B5 colon B44. But instead, you could name a range of cells, and then when doing a function or formula, you could use that a more meaningful name instead of just a cell range. So I'm going to select the cells that I want to give a name. I'm going to click in this box in the top left-hand corner, and I'm going to type paid, and then hit enter. You'll now notice it says paid instead of B5. I'm going to do the same thing for this last column here. Select all the cells. Click in the name box, and I'm going to call this amount. Hit enter. And you'll now notice it says amount. Next thing we're going to do is use that name range in a function. So I'm going to go down to cell D46, and we want to sum the amount. So here is D46. And I'm going to type in equals sum parentheses amount parentheses enter and I get a total there. You can also do functions where you add in the if. So we could sum all the cells if a person paid. So we only want to sum the cells that say yes. You can do equals sum if, and we can click on that, it's going to give us the parentheses, now it's asking us for the range, and we're going to select the paid column, or you could just type in paid, because we're using named ranges, so we're going to do comma, and now it wants to know the criteria. Well, we want to know that if a person has paid, yes. So instead of B44, I could just do quotation marks, yes, quotation marks, do another comma, and now it says, well, what is it that you want me to sum? And we want to sum this amount column. So you could either select it with your cursor, or you could just type in amount, since we did give it a name. So you'll see down here it says, we only want you to sum the amount if the person has paid. And it says, yes. Do the other parentheses, hit enter, and our new amount is $3,500. So only $3,500 out of what we need, the 4910 has been paid.